patient um, recover some of the lost hair, but how does it exactly do that? What are some of the realistic expectations in terms of Propecia? The best way for me to explain this is a new method I thought about. I was giving a consultation to a gentleman this past week and realized that uh, it was very confusing for people to stay compliant with Propecia because they didn't know exactly what to expect. They thought, you know, is it just going to regrow all the hair? Is it going to just prevent any further loss? Is it going to slow down loss? And the answer is it does all three of them. And so the best way to understand how Propecia works is to use this graphic that you see on your screen right now and walk you through sort of the process here. When we, male pattern baldness is not a condition in which someone has a, 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 a full head of hair and all of a sudden it vanishes and there's no hair at all. Instead it goes from what's called a terminal thick hair. It becomes a wispy vellus hair, a thin vellus hair, which is like these wispy little hairs. And then that vellus hair disappears and becomes nothing. What Propecia does is it captures a hair when it's converted from a thick terminal hair to this very wispy hair that has very little visual density and at that point takes that vellus hair and moves it back in the direction of a terminal hair. It takes terminal hairs and limits them from going to vellus hairs but when the vellus hair has disappeared and become nothing, is not there anymore, what I call slick baldness, like someone who is a Norwood Six who has just slick baldness, Propecia will do very, very little for that individual. So it, that's irreversible. So when you go from a terminal hair to vellus hair, it can go back in the other direction using Propecia. It still, despite Propecia, can progress toward a vellus hair. And it's, and, and in, in ultimately, it still may fall out and become no hair. But Propecia does several things. It takes a vellus hair and moves it back toward a terminal hair. It minimizes the chance for a terminal hair to become a vellus hair. And still, despite all that, sometimes you still progress toward um, no hair. And by the time it becomes no hair, the Propecia won't work at all. So the best way to think about it is, does it regrow hair? Yes. Well, when it's a vellus hair, it'll move a vellus hair into a thicker terminal hair and make that more visually dense so that it becomes a real uh, hair that has density. So in that sense it regrows hair, but it doesn't regrow hair when there's no hair at all. So that's irreversible going the other direction. It also takes, it slows down hair loss. In other words, terminal hairs, fewer termi terminal hairs become vellus hairs and fewer vellus hairs become no hairs. So in that regard, it slows down recession. And then also it sort of maintains hairs so that ter terminal hairs that are in terminal hairs stay in terminal hairs and vellus hairs stay that are in ve vellus hairs have a less likelihood of progressing on to no hairs. So if you think of that spectrum and understand what part of the spectrum that Propecia really works, you'll understand that the answer to the question of what Propecia does over the long term is it does regrow some hair, quote unquote, but it's not growing hair from a slick bald condition but from a vellus condition, usually more prevalent in younger individuals or in individuals that are still slowly progressing uh, with their loss. Uh, number two is that it tends to slow down the progression of hair loss and at the same time the third thing it does is it's, it, it can not stop hair loss but it can really slow down to the point where there are certain parts where it's going to almost be stopped for a while until there's ongoing hair loss. So hopefully understanding the, the evolution of male pattern baldness through the context of terminal vellus and no hairs and how each one does go back and forth or in the case of when vellus goes to no hair that it's not going to go back even with Propecia unless you transplant it um, gives you a better idea of the context of how Propecia helps uh, with a hair transplant or even in the condition of a person that desires of uh, not having a hair transplantation.